Hey everybody, it's Ian, the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this card once I figure out how to get out from the upside down. <laughs> I'm very excited today to be taking part in a Stranger Things collaboration with some other great artists. Make sure to go check out all of the videos included in this collaboration. I'll put a link up in the iCards. Which side is it? I think it's this side. So make sure to go check out all those other artists as we celebrate the second season of Stranger Things. I am a huge Stranger Things fan and I cannot wait to see what season two has in store. The previews look really good and I know it's going to be great and what better time for it to come out around October and Halloween and it's gonna be perfect. Today I'm gonna to use my Cricut Explore Air to create this awesome waffle looking card for you to give to your loved one. On the outside it says I love you dot 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 always as every great sentiment should and then on the inside it says as much as 11 loves waffles. For those of you who have watched Stranger Things you know how much 11 loves Eggo waffles and I wanted to represent that here in today's card so let's go ahead and get started putting it together. So let's go ahead and get started. I have several different colored sheets of paper ready to go. I need to grab a red out of my scrap bin but the card itself is going to be about five by five so some of the pieces of paper I don't have big enough scraps for so I'm using fresh pieces of paper for it. I'm going to set my dial onto light cardstock and let the Cricut do its work. All right, now that I have everything cut out using my Cricut, it is now time to put everything together. First thing that I'm gonna do is, it won't be able to see it on camera, but there is a score line right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that score line out. It is really hard to see, but um, if you just fold the, po the paper over, it will fold nicely just like that. And I'm actually gonna fold it back the other direction as well because this is the direction I'm actually going to glue it down on. All right, now to form my waffle, I could do something just as basic as putting this and gluing it down like that. But I think I might be able to use some of these recollection foam circles to put some foam adhesive behind it and make it a little more three-dimensional. Let's see if this is gonna work out like I hope it will. My goodness, that took a long time, but I hope it will give a good effect for when I flip it over and try to put it on to the bottom side. All right. Now that looks, I have to say, that looks pretty good. I love the dimension. Yes, if you hold it up too far, you will see all the dimensional adhesive, but I love how this looks. This looks very much like a waffle. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together so that way we have our card. I'm gonna use some Scotch dot adhesive roll. I love this one because the dots, if there's nothing underneath it, it won't stick to it. So that way you won't have to worry about any adhesive hanging over the edge. So it's all right there, which is great. So now to put the card together, simple and easy. Just make sure that you're lining up the circles together. And push down. 
So now you can open up the card and have the inside. There we go, perfect. Now to match this up so that way this part, I didn't want this part to be like this and then you open up the card is a different way. I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down right on top. Let's see, that's this way. And just stick that right there. Perfect. And let's see, what adhesive am I gonna use? All right, so I'm gonna take my dot adhesive roller again and I'm just gonna go straight across. Maybe not, <laughs> that's not, there's not enough to push off with. All right, so we're gonna switch to the multimedia mat from Ranger. And I'm just gonna give it a couple squirts in a few different places. I'm hoping this is gonna be back behind the banner so that way I don't have to worry about it squishing out. But even if it does, it's not a big deal because it dries matte. So it's like it's not even there. All right, that should hopefully get it right. I'm gonna push it down a little bit just to hold it down and I'm actually gonna put this acrylic block right on top to let it dry. All right, there we go. We have completed the I love you as, whoops, <laughs> I love you as much as 11 loves waffles. And my banner is still crooked, no matter, <laughs> even though I tried very hard to make sure it wasn't, but you know what? That's why I'm the off kilter crafter. I get away with stuff like that. Maybe it's not as crooked as I thought. No, it's, it's, it's pretty fair. It's okay though. It doesn't have to be perfect and everything I do is a little off kilter. When I found out about this collaboration, I knew I wanted to do something that was Eleven related and I was trying to figure out a way to create a card out of some form or fashion of the show and I knew exactly once I came across the idea for the waffles that I wanted to do a waffle card. This is a great card that you can also use um, all sorts of times during the year. It does not have to be just for Stranger Things. You could maybe change this up into a uh, breakfast or brunch invitation. You could also use some glossy accents on it to make the maple syrup. All sorts of great ideas that you could do with this card. Use your imagination and show me what you create over on my Facebook page. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you'll check out all the other Stranger Things videos in the collaboration. Once again, they're up in the iCards and down in the description below. Make sure to go check out all the great artists and all the great artwork. And while you're here, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that button down below that says subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and get great updates every time I post a new video or go live by clicking that bell icon. And if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps me out and will hopefully share this video across YouTube land. You can also check me out on my social media links. Those are all listed down in the description below. They include Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, all sorts of places. I always forget how many places it covers. Make sure to go check those all out down in the description below. All right, guys, remember always keep it off kilter and don't forget to go watch Stranger Things, the second season on Netflix. In fact, I'm gonna go binge watch it right now. Oh, bye.